Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1. And of course, this is the series where you guys choose the teams that we play with. Now, in the previous episode, we were able to pick up the Division 8 title thanks to Porto, PSG and Andelect. We are undefeated for the entire season that time around. So we're hoping for something similar in Division 7. We're starting off this one as AC Milan. And this was most definitely the uh, the most popular choice in the comment section of the previous episode. It came from uh, Extreme Boss Fergus Campbell into the ring, Grunch Ringo, FIFA. For S King, Daniel Stocks, Mr. FIFA 14, Mr. Kavich HD, and Ad 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 or Ahmed Madafra. Sorry, so uh, definitely the most popular choice. That was the uh, the most suggestions we've had for a single team so far in the entire series. So uh, hopefully we could back that up with a decent performance. And as you can see from the highlights so far, we were definitely on top of this guy in the early stages. Of course, I was playing Mario Balotelli up top in uh, kind of a 4-3-3 almost. It was kind of a 4-2-3-1 with Kaka, El Shirawi, and uh, and Kazuki Honda, the recently transferred Kazuki Honda. At uh, at Cam sat behind the uh, the big ballo up top, and uh, we were doing well. Although he was going to catch me on the counter attack here, just kind of proving that he could threaten if he uh, if he so wished. Really great diving header from Fernando Urente. I was fortunate that wasn't on target, but uh, Kakao was going to whip the ball in here. Up goes Balotelli. Can't quite get there, but Honda gets to the rebound. Buffon can't close him down quick enough, and he's able to smash the ball into the back of the net to get us off to a fantastic start. Just after the half hour, we're one 0 up thanks to the new signing, and uh, we couldn't have asked couldn't have asked for a better way to start the episode. But he came close, even closer here to were to picking up an equaliser. Paul Popper with an absolute rifling effort that smashes off the outside the post here. You'll see the replay. I left it in because that was a fantastic strike. Just curling away from the goalkeeper. That hit the inside of the post and I think that might have caused us a few more problems. But uh, we're coming up to half time. I was trying to make sure that we, uh, we've we killed the game off. Considering I was having so many chances, there's always a threat at 1-0 that uh, just one mistake can cause you to lose the game. But we're able to push on into the second half. I clearly wanted to make the most of this chance. Balotelli just can't find a way past Gigi Buffon. He's a fantastic goalkeeper and he pulled out another top save there to keep us out and the, he was going to come very close to picking up a, uh, an equaliser of his own here. Fernando Llorente through to Carlos Tevez, another great save from a goalkeeper. This time it's Abiati coming to my rescue and we're able to clear the ball. But into the 88th slash 89th minute, he makes a defensive mistake. And what did I say about 1-0 and making mistakes, punishing you? That was what decided the game. That one mistake, it could have gone either way. I could have made a mistake, he could have drawn level. It was the other way around, he made the mistake, we made it 2-0 and he rage quits. We're going to pick up three points from this one. I'm not really too sure what is the point in rage quitting in the 89th minute but nonetheless, we're going to pick up the three points and uh, do very, very well so far in this episode. And it's weird that we played Juventus in that first game because that was actually the second most popular choice in the comment section of the previous video suggested by Ms. Federer, Lizem Tvok and Logs Bryant. I'm sorry if I... Uh, kind of butchered the pronunciation of uh, any of those names. Not particularly too uh, fluent when it comes to uh, different languages, etc. But anyway, um, after uh, a decent game with, uh, with AC Milan, we really, really were up against it in this one. Not only for the fact that uh, Liverpool are a good side and uh, this guy was good at fever, but look at the kits. Liverpool should be in their red home kit and they're not. I'm in my black and white uh, Juventus home kit and for some reason Liverpool are in their white and black. Uh, is it the alternative one? It's either their away one or their alternative one. And the kit clash was really playing with my eyes and I was struggling. As you can see from the first few clips in this one, it was all him, all Liverpool. Luis Suarez going close there with, uh, with a lovely tipped effort after they'd hit the post and the bar in a the opening 20 minutes or so but fortunately Gigi Buffon had come to my rescue whenever I'd needed him so far so we were able to scrape through till half time at 0-0 and I was trying to just find my way into the game this guy was particularly good at the game you'll be able to see from the stats not a single chance for me it was a continual barrage from him and I really needed to step my game up in the second half and that's what I tried to do I tried to play uh, a little bit more of a patient game try and catch him on the counter attack as opposed to uh, just flying at him constantly Carlos Tevez races away here and it's only a good save from Simon Mignolet that stops me from going 1-0 up just inside the second half and we're actually going to get another effort not too long after this one Andrea Pirlo the, uh, the instigator into Carlos Tevez who was my main threat for the entire game lovely turn and unfortunately he can't quite find the uh, find the target. But I was going to make three changes. I bought on, uh, as you'll be able to see on the screen, I bought on Pogba, Giovinco and Simone Pepe for Asimov, Vucinic and Pirlo. And this, this chance here was literally 
exactly after I'd made the changes. I made them just before this free kick. And uh, Ogbonna is going to whip the ball in. It's actually going to fall to a Simone Pepe. His first touch is to settle it. Second touch is to have the shot. It's blocked. But then there's a, a huge defensive mistake. Colo Torre actually chests the ball into his own net. So you'll see there. Mix up between goalkeeper and defender. One comes for the ball. The other one tries to chest it back to him. And uh, unfortunately for him, it's a mistake. And we're able to go 1-0 up. And then there's another defensive mistake. He passes the ball straight to Giovinco. Nice step over to get it onto his right-hand side. And he makes it 2-0. So after being completely dominated for the first half, we take a shot 2-0 lead. And that brought the instant raise quit yet again. So uh, that's six points from two uncomplete games, so to speak. Although they were in the late stages both times. And I can understand that second guy having a raise quit at that particular point. Because he really was dominant for the entire game. But it uh, doesn't matter. That's football. And we're going to take all six points. So the final suggestion comes in from Red Devils124 and Johnny Mayers and it is Seattle Sounders FC of course. They are sponsored by Xbox on the front of their shirt and unfortunately they uh, they have recently signed Clint Dempsey haven't they but unfortunately he's actually out on loan back at Fulham since the MLS season has finished so I wasn't able to use him in uh, in this particular game but one player I did recognise from uh, from the starting lineup was actually the goalkeeper Marcus Hanneman. He's uh, not quite the best of, uh, of goalkeepers nowadays, but he was quite good back in his uh, back in his Barclays Premier League days with Wolves. But uh, he was kind of, I think he's 68 rated now, so he was still decent. Saved me a couple of times, and uh, they've also got Obafemi Martins up top. And I was hoping going into the game that he was kind of going to be the uh, the main focal point of all of my attacks, because of course he is absolutely rapid. But he was quite a disappointment for me, especially in the first half. So you can see we're going to go in at nil nil, and uh, you'll be able to see from the stats. Rather than being completely dominated in the previous one, it's an absolute stalemate. Six shots each. Four Four shots on target each, almost 50% possession each. So, uh, again, we needed a better second half performance to try and kill the game off. And uh, I caught him on the counter attack. This is the first real time that we got in behind the lines. And I was able to stand the ball up, decent cross, and fortunately, we were able to get on the end of it at the back post. Estrada, I think the striker's name is. Gets up with a header. He's not the tallest, but uh, he's going to be able to win that header and put us 1-0 up. And then he kind of took that as a, as a sign. You know, I scored a goal from going out wide, so he tried to go out wide himself. Unfortunately, Hanneman's positioning was on point to be able to stop that header from going into the back of the net. But uh, Obafemi Martins actually did a little bit for me here, trying to uh, to create some chances. He mistimes his tackle, and Estrada's able to get away, finish the ball into the back of the net with a lovely left footed strike across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner, and that gave us a fantastic 2-0 win. So we've been 2-0 in the first game, 2 in the second game, 2 0 up at the minute. This is the miss of the season. Georgia Samaras, open goal, one yard out, kicks it against the post. And I left a replay in here because this is. I don't even. There is, calamitous, I guess, would be a word for it. This it kind of the sort of situation that just leaves you completely speechless. I may even send that into some sort of misses of the week compilation thing if there is uh, such a video or such a series from uh, from anyone else on YouTube. But we're able to take three wins from this one, three two nil wins from this one. So uh, nine points. We are already safe in Division Seven. We need another five points for promotion and another eight points for the Division Seven title. So leave me some suggestions in the comments section down below to let me know which teams I should use for the next episode to try and get us that promotion if we can possibly attain it so if you missed the previous episode there was an annotation on screen over the uh, left hand side of the end slate to take you to that video if you want to subscribe to the channel already feel free to do so we recently hit 5,000 subscribers which is absolutely superb so uh, there will be a link in the description to subscribe or an annotation on screen over the right hand side of the end slate as you can see there and of course if you don't follow me on twitter already then feel free to do so at chesnoy gaming is the twitter handle and there will be a link in the description to take you directly there so that's it for this one guys thank you very much for watching and I'll be back next time with some more career mode.